On the 24th of July this year, the Katikiro of Buganda, engineer J.B. Walusimbi, wrote a letter to Kampala Capital City Authority asking for the return of all Buganda properties that were taken in 1966 by the Oboti government. The council resolved that the issue be heard today. However, a letter from the minister in charge of Kampala, Muruli Mukasa, that was read to the council meeting today, suggested that KCCA councillors should hold the debate pending investigations into the matter by the ministry, something that annoyed the councillors. You cannot tell me that for the last 25 years we have been in government, you don't know the property that belongs to Uganda. Councillors also proposed a motion that all issues addressed through the ministers later be totally ignored. Shortest time possible, maximum six months. And in any case, in six, at the spell of six months, if anything is not, if something is not done, then we shall find some other means where diplomacy fails. Some members of parliament present also demanded to know who might have informed the minister, something that led the KCCA executive director to speak out. So when we got the communication, we requested the minister for Kampala, knowing that the meeting was coming up and these issues had to be discussed, to guide us on the position of government. However, this did not go down well with the legislators and councillors. They accused the KCCA executive director of being a government spy with the sole motive of putting council on hold. Is being manned by somebody occupying the position of a mall. He is here to, coo, to, to investigate what is happening, to make sure that he, she reports back to the superiors. That is unfortunate. She is a spy. The Lord Mayor and Council members unanimously decided to continue fighting for the Buganda property. The property in question includes the markets of Wandege and Nankulabye, the Chisinjiri estates which are now occupied by military personnel, clinics and division headquarters on Kabaka's land, several schools and Lusaze Cemetery. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Weekend Edition.